Let's take a deeper look at Antonio Maffi. First and foremost, he's six foot four. He was three fifty five. Got all the way down to three thirty nine. So hey, he can control his weight. He started off as an interior defensive tackle guy in high school and got recruited at UCLA to be a defensive tackle. But he switched and he made a good move, in my opinion. Now you may have reservations on his hand and his feet work. Nevertheless, the power, the strength is there. And given a chance and opportunity to go to a right system, he will flourish in his skill sets. You see that man got nothing but dog mentality. Some can argue that this dude may be the meanest guard coming out of the draft. He will pancake you, fall on you. He got the aggressive temperament. He does all of those things out there on the field. And when you think of it, he got elite level on run block, right? It it just horrible a little bit with the pass pro now when you look back at the film yeah he will destroy you like he pancaked that guy right there what let's watch it again yeah (laughs) and he will land on you his hands are so strong his power is there and he will clear the lane in the alleyway so that your running back can get multiple yards and you see that touchdown just by him moving hop get in the way move him out the way and the power once he get his hands inside you're not going to disengage from him. And he's just that nasty. Those rib tips, he's going to bust them open and your helmet flying off. You will see that. That's what Mafia brings to the table, that dog nasty mentality. Watch, he hit him again. And he's going to land all over you. That's what you see. So he still have that defensive tackle mindset. He Like, he want to hit you. He's going to hit you. And watch, this is him swatting 600 pounds. I think he did three reps out of it. Look, they cheering him up. This dude, lower body, strong. This dude got strength. He can move stuff out of the way. And he brings that temperament and that mentality to the table. I like when I see this. Now, he will be a guy that will go through some growing pains. But he will fight for that number one spot. And shoot, you don't want to get him in close areas. So that's why he is just built to be an inside guard, he got the right frame, the right mindset, and the nastiness will be there. He just got to work on his hand placements right there. Got to drive and keep moving his feet. There are some things that he give up on. That's why if you draft him, you don't have to draft him early, but you fool around and get him on your team. You got your dog. You got your person that's going to land on you, put you down on the ground. He got elite, when I'm going to say this again, elite run blocking capabilities just got to work on his pass pro but if you're trying to go down into the trenches and you want somebody there with you to clear the way look up 56 from ucla look land all over him man look he's the type of guy the next day Uh, man that 56 beat me up man and that's what he do every time you see him hit you he's gonna push you he's gonna throw you down on the ground you rarely see Mafi getting moved out the way and put on the ground. Now, he did allow three sacks last season. Now, like I say, he's not that polished with his hands inside and his hand technique and his feet. But those are two things that I know for sure I can work on. Feet and hands, but you can't work on power and strength. And you see how he just throw that man out of the club. He brings all of that, the mindset, the mentality. Keep in mind, he started off as a defensive tackle. He's only been playing guard for a short time. So the ceiling is unbelievable. He got plenty of room to grow, and he got the mindset. And that's one of the things that I look at that I love more than anything, as long as you have the mindset to do it. So, yeah, let's go. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. Let me know what round you think he should be in because I can't place what round he should go. So I'm going to lean on you all. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. First and foremost, you're getting a guy that handles uh, business on and off the field. Um, You know, I have no nonsense, no time to to mess around. I'm ready to live my life as a professional um, and just do football 24-7. No more school. So uh, I'm ready to just go in all in on this. Um, and, and I'm a guy that's not coming in to learn, uh, to sit back and, you know, wait around for my turn. I'm coming in to compete right away and uh, do whatever I can to get on the field and stay on the field. And then 
uh, contribute to uh, on-field success and, and winning. And that's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to do.